up, guys? We are Hi. back with another reaction video. Yeah. Uh, what are we doing today? So I figured I would switch up a little bit and have you react to Blank Space by I Prevail. Do I know this? So I've played it a few times. Um, maybe I've shown it to you in the past. I don't really remember. Yeah. But it's actually a cover for Blank Space by Taylor Swift. Okay, that sounds familiar. <laughs> Okay. I'm trying to remember how the Taylor Swift version goes, but I guess we'll find out. Yes. Um, so don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on all social media channels. Uh, the link is in the description below for each one. And it's your with Smith, Y-O-U-R-E. And oh, let's go. To meet you, where you been? I could show you incredible things Magic, madness, heaven, sin Saw you there and I thought Oh my god, look at that face You look like my next mistake Love's a game, wanna play Hey, hey New money, suit and tie I can read you like a magazine Ain't it funny, rumors fly And I know you heard about me So hey Let's be friends, I'm dying to see how this one ends Grab your passport and my hand I can make the dark girls bad for a weekend So it's good <laughs> Have you heard it before? Um, the cover, I maybe, I feel like I recognize the original song <laughs> Actually, it wasn't until the chorus that we just stopped in front of <laughs> That I was like, oh fuck, I do know this <laughs> So I feel like you've played this version for me. I don't remember it, though. You know, it's not like something I listen to. Yeah, because honestly, like one, whenever the song came out, I loved playing it for people who know the Taylor Swift version. Yeah. Because I think it's really funny. It is People's funny. reactions are so funny. Um, but yeah, considering this is a Taylor Swift song, I'm not going through the lyrics because no. I'm just not going to. Yeah, I don't think we need to. I mean, I don't, I don't really know the lyrics like that. So you want to go through the lyrics? We can, just real okay. quick, if you want to read okay. through it. So it starts, nice to meet you, where you been? I could show you incredible things. Magic, madness, heaven, sin. So like she's meeting this guy for the first time. She's like, where have you been all my life? Yeah. And I can show you all, all spectrums of <laughs> incredible things, like good, good and, and bad. bad. Yeah, it's funny. And he goes, saw you there and I thought, oh my God, look at that face. You look like my next mistake. Loves a game, want to play. So does so, she write her own lyrics? Do we know that or not? I have no idea, but they're really great lyrics. She's literally like, "Yeah, for a pop song, you look like my next ex boyfriend, basically." Yeah, for a pop song, it's decent, you know. Yeah, they are very good lyrics. I like Taylor Swift. I think she's got some good shit. Too. My favorite song, though, "The Archer." It's not a popular one. I love that song. Yeah. He goes, new money, suit and tie. Well, he goes, I can read you like a magazine. Ain't it funny? Rumors fly. And I know you heard about me. She was saying you like all the fancy, expensive things. Like I can read you like you're very kind of like shallow, transparent. And you're new money. So you don't come from money, you know. True. You just made this shit. You're like, a, you know. A <laughs> new money person. Johnny come lately. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could say the same thing about Taylor, though. True. Very true. <laughs> and she goes, ain't it funny? Rumors fly. And I know you heard about me. I was like, I know you know all about me. Yeah, the exactly. good and the bad. And he goes, so, hey, let's be friends. I'm dying to see how this one ends. It's funny. Yeah. Grab your passport and my hand. I can make the good girls bad for a weekend. So they changed it to good girls. What is it, good guys in her version or something? I can make the good girls bad. So to be honest, or I know she's... she's not saying that, but I have i haven't listened to the Taylor Swift version in so long, I honestly don't remember what um, she says. Make the She could good say good girls bad for a weekend. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. Um, I'll just look it up really quick. This isn't cheating because I'm looking at Taylor Swift's lyrics. It is interesting, though. Blank speed. I will say that covers make me appreciate the lyrics to songs much more when I hear somebody else sing them. 
Bless it's you. something about it because when I when it's a song I know the whole thing just gets stuck in my head as one thing and I don't necessarily listen to the lyrics like that yeah and when you hear somebody else do it it's like oh fuck you know it's like interesting that's true so she's like I can make the bad guys good for a weekend interesting yeah that's very interesting <laughs> that's very different yeah and it's, it's got a totally different meaning exactly that's pretty cool okay so Let's let keep going. us keep going yes all this one ass grab your passport and my hand i can make the dark girls bad for a weekend so it's gonna be forever or it's gonna go down in flames you can tell me when it's over Nightmare dressed like a daydream. So <laughs> I love it. Was there any more lyrics changed? Um, that you noticed? I'm not. We're like 45 seconds or something like that is where we left off. You are so good at this. I'm horrible. I just did notice. <laughs> yeah, so. So, so it's going to be forever or it's going to go down in flames. You can tell me when it's over if the high was worth the pain. Interesting. So they're either going to be together forever or it's going to end horrendously. Yeah. And then just let me know when we're done, if it was worth it. Yeah. I I think these are actually good lyrics. They really are. Like, I, 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 like, I really appreciate them. And got a long list of ex-lovers. They'll tell you I'm insane. I'm singing. Stop. Okay. Because you know I love the players and you love the game. So do you happen to know... If this was an early Taylor Swift song, or was she like famous for a while when she did this? So this cover is at least like eight, maybe nine years old. So the song has to be over eight or nine years old. Yeah, no, the only reason I ask is because the lines has got a long list of ex-lovers that tell you I'm insane. So I know that people make fun of Taylor Swift a lot yeah, for that. Yeah, every single song is about a different it's a, ex. It's a breakup <laughs> and, you know, she can't hold on to a man and there's always something yeah. wrong and, you know. That's so, definitely a nod to that. It, yeah, no, I know. So Acknowledging it. That's why it's interesting. I was curious, though, if this was like early on in her career or if it was like when she was famous, she had trouble holding on to you know, good relationships. No, this is not early on. Like, it's not like teardrops on my guitar early. Yeah. But it's like, probably came out in, probably, probably after 2010. Maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe just, I literally have the Wrong lyrics up here. Yeah. Sorry guys, I'm not an expert on Taylor Swift, but do you really expect me to be? It says, because you know, I love the players and you love the game. It's very interesting. Taylor Swift. What would I write? Like release date? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Release date. There we go. Yeah, when did it come out? 2014. Okay, so yeah, she was very yeah. famous by then. So that's no, funny. It was on the radio. Well, not like this, this one. Version, but like, yeah. Original. No, so that's funny that she puts that in there. She's responding to the criticism. That's cool. Yeah. All right. We're still going here. Um, Because we're young and we're reckless. We'll take this way too far. It'll leave you breathless or with a nasty scar. Yeah. So when she says breathless, I, mean, I guess like, oh, you took her breath away. You he, She took his breath away or yeah. left you with a scar. Yes. Okay. Um, 
So he says, got a long list of ex-lovers. And then, but I got a blank space, baby. And I'll write your name. So yeah, where's this blank space? Okay. So like in my head, I mean, Taylor definitely doesn't have tattoos, but like, that's where my head goes. Like you've got like a blank space for your name this time because usually like you're getting, you know, like maybe yeah. she makes bad decisions. She gets every single ex lovers tattooed on her. That's what I think. And then we go into the screaming part, which is just incredible. So that is cool how they do that. I love it. Because he's screaming cherry lips, crystal skies. They get to show you incredible things. Stolen kisses, pretty lies. You're the queen, baby. I'm your king. She filmed the uh, Ohika Castle? Yes, she did. It's interesting. That's actually... So yes. Taylor filmed this music video at a castle that is a couple towns away from us called Ohika. Mm-hmm. Okay. Keep listening to a lot of music like about where we live. Yeah. And then he goes, find out what you want, be that guy for a month, but the worst is yet to come, which is crazy. It's like, oh, I'm going to find out exactly what this girl is looking for, what this guy is looking for, turn myself into that, and only do that for like a month, and then just totally fuck shit up from there. Yeah, like, funny. You know, screaming, crying, perfect storms, I could make all the tables turn. Rose garden filled with thorns keep you second guessing, like, oh my god, like you have no idea what's coming next. Yeah, filled, rose, filled, filled, rose garden filled with thorns. That's yeah, so it's like the beautiful and stuff. then also like the deadly, like the evil. Yeah, um, who is he? Who is he? I get drunk on jealousy, that's but you, you'll come back each time. But you'll come back each time you leave. Because, darling, I'm a nightmare dressed like a daydream. I love that line. That's probably the greatest line ever. I'm a nightmare dressed as a daydream. Mm -hmm. That's good. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck the blank space actually is. I'm not having any luck finding out. Like, I'm getting, okay, this is Taylor making fun of the media. Did you look on Genius? Um, no, I don't know if I'll that's going to explain what the actual blank space is. It's probably so obvious. And people watching this are like, you guys are fucking stupid. The people watching us probably are not Taylor Swift fans. as familiar <laughs> with Taylor Swift as I am, I would assume. Yeah. Um, so we're on Genius. Sorry, guys. We're both like on our phones and you guys are just watching us on our phones, which is like awkward. And I apologize. Yeah, I don't know what the blank space is. But yes, but you'll come back each time you leave because darling, I'm a nightmare, just like a daydream. So she's, and he, the guy oh performing God. this, it's doing parody. Oh, it's like her, she's talking, yeah, we are dumb. Because she keeps talking about her long list of ex-lovers. She has a blank space gotcha. on that list at the bottom okay. where she can write his name. Yeah, very simple. Got <laughs> okay. it. Okay. So let's. Is this where we left off? Yes, it is. All right. Perfect timing. Darling, I'm a nightmare dressed like a daydream. So it's gonna be forever. Or it's gonna go down in flames. You can tell me when it's over. If the hard work's worth the pain. Got a long list of us lovers. They'll tell you I'm insane. Cause you know I love you. Okay, 
So I'm going to pause here so we can, we'll finish it out after we go through the lyrics. I don't know if he said anything new or if or no. not. It might have been the same shit. Let's see. Yeah. It's that chorus. No, there was one part. One part. So. It was girls only want love if it's yes. torture. Don't say I didn't. Don't say I didn't warn you. So he's literally saying like you only want it if it's going to torture you so don't say i didn't warn you because it's going to torture you like it's going to suck so about the "Uh." this is it's i prevail is the name of the group yeah what are that a punk band i'm assuming this sounds punk rock yeah it's definitely punk rock. were they popular like prior to this like I've this was the first song i ever heard of them and um they had just gotten like popular yeah. When I heard this song, I believe. Yeah. They have a few other songs like uh, I have a few in my phone. It's like Love Lust and Liars. Um and a few others. I don't really listen to them that much. Yeah. You know, just like a few here and there. I don't know all that much about the band. But they are like newer. Like they were um getting popular around like when this song came out, yeah. Around that time. So when they covered it, yeah. They're interesting. I do like how they're doing the cover, you know. They're changing it up, you know, the screaming and stuff. I do appreciate what they're doing here. Yeah, and this yeah. isn't the only song like that. Like, there's a bunch of songs in, like, the pop. It was punk. <laughs> yeah, I remember you. Yeah. I think you showed me some of the songs from there. Yeah, they're funny. Yeah, we could go through them. Okay. Is Was that the only? Don't sit oh, in the goes. instrumental. It's and then it's torture. torture. It's torture. Don't say I didn't warn you. It's and then I think we were like right, right here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll we just let it play it out from here. Yeah. In flames, you can tell me when it's over. If the high was worth the pain. That's all it's all that's over. I'll tell you what we say. Cause you know what? that little sound at the end yeah the drums so what do you think it was interesting i i appreciate i'm always torn when it comes to covers whether i want them to sing it the way it's supposed like oh or like switch it up like it or change it and make it their own you know i guess it depends on the song but i like i like what they did here um yeah they definitely made it their own that's for sure i don't know how much i'd like their other songs or not you know like their original work but i like the way they covered it and Mm -hmm. again like i was saying before it makes me appreciate taylor swift's songwriting ability yeah if she did she did she write this did we find out i didn't look i'm assuming she did it's freaking awesome because when i was trying to look what the fuck the blank space was which it's so funny we didn't know um thinking it's the tat- like place for a tattoo hey, like, I, I think she was a single one i figured it was obvious and we were just missing it but whatever so but when i was trying to figure out the meaning they were it was saying like um she obviously she wrote the song as a parody making fun of what the media was portraying her as a man eater and it's like okay uh, fine i'm that and you know made the song like yeah yeah i'm a man eater i'm reckless i'm ruthless and that's that's pretty cool of her that you know she did that i appreciate her songwriting ability and i do like these guys yeah. rendition voice is great yeah it is interesting the song i was like like when i was listening to it one time on youtube i decided to look at the comments and people were just like i'm loving this like and they kept saying that like Taylor Swift covered this song because like That's they did funny. it so well. Yeah, like I'm bad at retelling jokes. It was like way funnier. Well, that's like what people do with uh, Johnny Cash and Nine Inch Nails with her. Um, no, mm-hmm. Nine Inch Nails wrote it, performed it first, and owned it. So that's a perfect. They exam- are the best. That's a perfect example of what I'm referring to. They're two totally different songs. They sound nothing alike. Because they're very different. Like yeah, Johnny yeah, Cash. Johnny Cash version is better. You're just wrong. So I would say it is. You're just wrong. So I 
what Rick Rubin got out of Johnny Cash on that. It just seems so much more powerful coming from a man at the end of his life, especially the music video in that. It's crazy. But yes, Trent Reznor fucking... He wrote it, so he deserves I love the credit. Nine Inch Nails. Yeah, we'll, have we'll to, do some yeah, of them. We should do both of those songs. At we some can point. react. Ooh, we should do a video where we react to both, and I just shit on how bad Johnny Cash's version is. <laughs> we can do that. We'll do that. All right. <laughs> All right. Yes. Sorry, guys. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. See you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes.